All right, let's get the business. So we're gonna do basically along the lines of, this is Aaron, this is Mike. It's still out of place, man. You see it? I do see it, yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this is Aaron, this is Mike. Cool Springs, Harley Davidson, and today we're gonna talk to you. No, that was fucked up. I'm Aaron, this is Mike. And. Stop doing that. Wait. We are at Cool Springs, Harley Davidson, and today we're gonna talk about cylinder heads for your next Harley Davidson build. We've got here a Harley Davidson CNC head. A CNC head clearly, I mean, simply indicates that the cylinder head has been loaded onto a CNC machine and has been ported in some fashion. Very nice cylinder head, has its place, definitely. This is a step up from your standard M8 head. The valves are the same size as the uh, stock configuration. What's special about these heads is right here. Notice the machine work inside the ports. There and there. So what they've done with this cylinder head is taken a factory M8 casting, created a uh, CNC program to mill out this head to not only increase the flow slightly, but more importantly for this configuration, increase the velocity. That's what this cylinder head does. And we'll go a little bit further into detail as to where this head is gonna be used, what its application is, and where it kind of fits into the scheme of the kind of motors that we build um, in one second, but I also wanna talk about this head. This head is a hand-ported cylinder head from a shop that we use in Southern California, the very well-known shop called uh, Branch and O'Keefe. Now, Branch and O'Keefe does some special things to this head. They've increased the valve size in this head. It's a 1630 and a 1284. So, what's the use for this head? Generally speaking, we're going to use this head on our bigger cubic inch, bigger horsepower applications. The head of power. The head of power. And if you want to take a look at the port job that's done here, in comparison, the port of power. Let's take a look. So there's a CNC port. There's a branch hand port. And then let's look at the intake. There's the intake. Now one thing you'll notice on this that we picked up real early on is this port floor area right here. Look at the difference, see how much lower that port floor is? And then look at the volume in behind the valve. There's a lot more volume here than there is here in this port area. You also, notice, you also note that they've got the uh, bronze manganese valve guide. It's been tapered and thin. That helps increase the flow. This one here, see how it's a little bit more squared off? Guide of power. Couple of other differences in these heads. They're both using a beehive style valve spring. This is a round wire spring. This is an ovate wire spring. Spring of power. An ovate wire spring is slightly egg shaped. And the reason for that is it puts more material in the areas of highest stress while still keeping the weight low. And when you're working on real high horsepower and uh, high RPM applications, Keeping the weight down in the valve train is important, so we also have in here titanium retainers and keepers. Keepers of power. We don't build bikes here to be dyno queens. We build them to be riders. We want them to run good from the bottom of the curve to the top of the curve, and matching these parts together along with the proper uh, exhaust you know, primary size, the overall yeah. exhaust length, the cams, intakes, intakes all, yeah, all those parts working together. You know what? Stop looking. These are my eyes. My eyes are up here, okay, people? These are my cylinder heads. 